I appreciate very much the opportunity to speak here tonight to the people of Plymouth Township as a first-time candidate for the government here in Plymouth uh, as a candidate for trustee of Plymouth Township. This is a year marked by uh, unprecedented anger uh, about government in our country and locally and how government seems to be unresponsive to the voter. And that's a major reason why I am running for the first time as a candidate for office here in Plymouth Township to put the trust back into the concept, the position of trustee, to make sure that public safety is our number one priority, to increase the level of transparency and public involvement in our local government. I'm a fiscal conservative. I believe every single dollar should be spent wisely. I'm not in favor of tax increases but I am in favor of citizen involvement and having our citizens in touch with our local government. I've lived here in Plymouth Township for 32 years. I believe I have the requisite qualifications to run for this office and to serve the people of this township. I've served in leadership capacities on a number of nonprofit boards. I've been working in public policy for uh, many years and I believe I can help restore a level of professionalism to our township board that it um, should exhibit. As I say, I've lived here for 32 years in Plymouth Township. I have a political science degree from Michigan State University, a law degree from George Washington University in DC, where for several summers uh, I served on congressional staffs I was an assistant attorney general for four years and then moved into corporate law practice where I served in a number of capacities including general counsel of Michigan Bell Telephone Company. Since 1998 I've been a partner at the Dickinson Wright law firm based in Detroit with my offices in Ann Arbor and Lansing. Uh, I've been on the Michigan Historical Commission since 2007 and have been elected its president annually since 2012. The nonprofit boards I've served on include the Michigan Historical Foundation, the Rochester College Board, and most recently I was elected to the board of the Clark Historical Library. I've been a church elder here in Plymouth Township since 1998. I'm a life member of the Plymouth Historical Society. I've written several books or co-written them, several of which have received awards. I helped found a Plymouth small business years ago, which is still in business, which is great to see. So I think I have enough uh, qualifications to put myself in front of the voter and submit myself for uh, consideration as a candidate for Plymouth Township trustee, proven leader, clean professional record, and an open government advocate, uh, and I've been that for many years. I've written articles, I've advocated for government reform uh, for decades, and I believe that these ideas can carry over to our local government. As I say, I seek to put the trust in the idea, the position of trustee. A trustee is a fiduciary, uh, someone who has special responsibility to look out for the best interests of those that um, that individual serves uh, to watch over and manage every single dollar that the taxpayer contributes so that uh, fiscal uh, soundness and, and frugality are emphasized without any need for any tax increases. I believe we can manage the township budget without any further tax increases. So in terms of the priorities, I think we can really make this township government um, something that our residents can be proud of because we're all very proud of living in Plymouth Township. In terms of openness and responsive government, uh, the major thing I believe we should insist on and increase is government reaching out and listening to the individual taxpayer. Uh, holding meetings, open forums, um, township hall type meetings where people can come in and provide their ideas, uh, their feedback, not just doing the legal minimum, but actually having town, township government actively seeking those viewpoints. A case in point would be in terms of recreation. 
Um, we need to have in, uh, the people of this township give the, the government their feedback on what they believe the priorities should be in terms of our recreation uh, planning and, and operations. Uh, in terms of the number of meetings, uh, we see um, that we can be more efficient, we can have meetings that are uh, professionally conducted, where uh, we deal with the issues, we don't deal with personalities. I believe government should, in terms of its financial uh, conduct, have openness, transparency in terms of bidding, in terms of involvement and spending, and uh, I believe that uh, we can increase each of these so that people feel confident that all of their uh, tax dollars are being spent wisely and efficiently. Um, as I say, I'm not a career politician, so I come to this with the, the idea that each of us owns our local government. We are the ones that um, control what should happen, and our, our township board is composed of our public servants. They serve us. We do not serve them. Uh, there's a saying that informed citizenship is the foundation of true freedom, true liberty. And I really would like to see more involvement and encourage that as a trustee to have uh, committees and work groups that include people from the township. Um, we have a tremendous number of uh, very capable people who are ready and willing to serve in those capacities to provide their expertise and to do it economically. We don't necessarily have to hire experts. But we can bring those people and the, the whole ethic of volunteerism to bear in township government here in Plymouth. Uh, in terms of ethics, I, I do have a professional record that uh, does not have any blemishes. I'm very proud of that. Uh, I have taken and made a vow, a pledge of how I would conduct myself as a trustee, which includes uh, um, a number of ethical considerations, one of which is to communicate on a regular basis with residents. So even though the, the trustee position isn't necessarily viewed as a full-time position, my desire would be to have office hours, uh, to have the capability of residents to communicate with each trustee, myself especially, um, not just through email but in person, um, to have township trustee uh, meetings that encourage input, encourage feedback from citizens. They really take the idea of, of public involvement um, very seriously uh, and, and very uh, essentially so that our government reflects the viewpoints and the considerations that people have on a daily basis. Uh, financially, uh, I believe we should um, be uh, tenacious in terms of looking at inefficiencies and any waste uh, and duplication. Uh, we should be very uh, scrupulously managing each tax dollar. So uh, there has to be a process involved that restricts how money is spent, um, very restrictive use of credit cards, uh, much greater emphasis on pre-planning, uh, forward planning, and trying to uh, recognize that each dollar we spend is a dollar contributed from a taxpayer, from the taxpayers, and not something to be treated lightly. Um, we need to have constant scrutiny that, that each dollar is being spent so that we get full value for it. Uh, we need to have our, our budget, um, something that has public participation and input in, so that people feel that it reflects their needs, their goals, um, their input, not something that isn't uh, connected to what people are all about here in Plymouth Township. That way we can have more confidence, we can have more trust that things are being conducted here in a way that represents our interests and really achieves the greater goal, greater good for all of us in the township. So that by providing the fullest possible information on the website, uh, through various other forms of communication, email, um, YouTube, you name it, we have all these technologies, we can bring the government to the people of Plymouth Township and not necessarily force them to come to the township to find information out. I believe that participatory budgeting 
and planning is something that we should really emphasize so that uh, the budget isn't just constructed independent of what people think, but just the opposite. It's based on what individuals, what the citizens contribute in terms of ideas and goals to our township uh, government. Uh, in terms of the recreation uh, planning here in, in the township, um, there is a requirement to get grants and other funding that you have a plan approved by the board. It's a legal requirement, I guess you'd say, but really it's an opportunity to go out to the people of this township and determine what it is that is in their best interests. As I've walked the neighborhoods here and talked to people, what I've heard are various types of ideas for what to do with our parks, um, with the township park itself, with the golf course, um, and even some suggestions about how we can uh, do more in a partnership with the Plymouth Canton School District, which has many facilities here in, in the township. Um, so we should be looking forward to uh, the opportunity for people to contribute ideas and, and not feel that somehow that's a challenge for us. Uh, in terms of um, public safety, this is something that I've heard a lot about as I've been walking door to door. Um, this really is the most important priority in our township. Um, public safety is where we spend, from the standpoint of our tax millage, our tax rate, 80 percent of our tax dollars. So we should be receiving in return for that, uh, that tax contribution, the level of public safety that we are, are paying for. Um, as I've looked at data, um, I believe that we should be focused on numbers, on data, on facts, uh, regardless of their implications. Uh, I've noticed, I believe, that the data shows that our average fire department response times have increased. They've lengthened since 2012 in the period till 2015. That would suggest that response times are, are, are growing. They're not getting um, more efficient, they're actually lengthening, which is a concern. In terms of the budget that we are spending on our fire safety program, um, in 2011 we were spending just over three million dollars. One of the three fire department stations, Station 2, was closed in 2012 on the argument on the basis that we needed to have, have efficiencies. Well, in 2014 and in 2015, the numbers that are available from the township show that our level of spending is equal to or greater than it was in 2011. So we are basically spending the same amount of dollars in 2015 as we were in 2011, but we only have two of the three stations that are open. And so are we getting the right return for our tax dollars? And what are the implications for safety and emergency responsiveness from having one of those uh, stations closed? Certainly for the 800 to 1,000 homes in that area of the township, the northeast area, uh, there's some very significant issues there. Those, uh, those residents, uh, the response time to their homes has been lengthened. Um, by definition, because the responses come now from Station 1 or Station 3. So there's a very serious issue there that needs to be looked at, that needs to be addressed with regard to that portion, that northeast portion of the township. But the implications also uh, apply to the rest of us, the rest of the residents of the township, because if there is a response from Station 3 in the area that Station 2 might have responded to when it was open, what about the people that are in the immediate vicinity of Station 3? Their response is probably lengthened. So not having one of the three stations open um, impacts the service level in that area, in that neighborhood, as well as the rest of the township. So these are things that we need to really seriously look at. And uh, if I was elected trustee, one of the things I would like to do is to have a very serious look at each board meeting at where our public safety response uh, time, uh, the, the nature of the emergencies, 
that have occurred in the previous month. So let's look at those. Let's not pass over them. Let's feel that we're, we are protected and actually be protected here in Plymouth Township. Let's have that assurance that the dollars that we're spending are being done in a way that delivers the best public safety that we uh, are entitled to. Um, to um, try to wrap this up in, a, in, in short fashion, I, I believe that what we really need to do is foster a culture in our township government here that is, is not defensive, um, that is open to concerns, open to evidence, that may contradict, um, that may be at variance from actions that the board has taken, including myself if I was on the board, but rather be receptive, to be open-minded to um, information that comes to the board that suggests, that demonstrates that things need to change, that things need to be improved, uh, that informed opinions are brought to us that we would act upon, informed opinions from the people of this township. It's an opportunity um, to reassess on a daily, on a monthly, on a regular basis how things are and not just treat them as, uh, as if um, business as usual is appropriate. We need to always be open to that kind of input. If I'm elected trustee, which I'd be extremely honored to serve the people of this township, uh, I promise, I vow, I pledge to be honest, to be transparent, to be accountable, and to be respectful of the will of the people who elect me. And I appreciate this time to bring my thoughts about township government here in this beautiful community to you tonight. Thank you very much.